Welcome to the Move Local Podcast. Our mission is to connect the movers and shakers of the Dundas and Hamilton area who pride themselves on growing a healthier and more connected community. We will do this through having conversations around health, education, entrepreneurship, and much more. We want to be part of helping you move confident, move free, and move local. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Move Local Podcast, brought to you by The Movement. My name is Dalton, and I'm coming at you guys with another episode this week. I'm very, very excited about our conversation today. If you guys have been following The Movement Instagram page, you know that um, we are supporting and putting in a team for the Terry Fox run here in Dundas. And today, I'm talking with Amy and Nicole, who are the event coordinators. They put it on. They make all the magic happen, and I'm super excited to have them on the show to talk a little bit more about Terry Fox and the run and the Dundas community. So, ladies, welcome to the show. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks for having us. How's the day going so far? Great day so far. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Anything exciting happened so far on this Monday? No. Uh, got your kids. Yeah, we're gonna say, getting my yeah. kids trained. So, sounds like ready, kids are so. like <laughs> taken care of for <laughs> the mo- for the meantime. I've got or, an hour. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> an hour of freedom to talk about exactly, Terry Fox. Exactly. Um, I think the best place to start. I, I would kind of like to hear a little bit of both, maybe your stories into like. Maybe even like when you first got introduced to Terry Fox and what kind of led you to um, wanting to be a part of this this fundraiser, put on the event and all that stuff. So maybe we could start there. Okay, okay. I'll start. Okay. As I think I've been with the committee for 13 years. So I started as the fundraising coordinator. So I was kind of brought on because I have a business degree and they're like, oh, you can go out and recruit all the money. Because what people don't know is that unlike almost every single other run across Canada, there's no um, entry fee. So then we are required right. by, or we, or it's necessary to raise the funds to actually fund the event. So we pay for the park and the police and the EMS and everything else that goes on. It's a lot of money. So in June, I usually start hitting the payment, asking businesses to contribute. So which we've hit up momentum or movement many times. <laughs> and momentum. <laughs> yeah, yeah. momentum. Yeah, I was going to say always. <laughs> um, and of course, it's the local businesses that fund it. So I've been doing that for many, many years. Um, and then when eat, I went through three different sets of co-chairs, and then at the end of the third co-chair, second co-chair, there was no one else who wanted to pick it up because it's quite the undertaking. And I, I volunteered hesitantly just to kind of think, you know, I'll get a good team, I'll put it together, and then um, 13 years later. <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> so, no, it's, well, co-chair for six, actually, so not yeah. that bad. But, um, yeah, I just started because I just think that I do believe there can be a world without cancer, and I, I believe in Terry's vision. Um, and I think if, if we don't try, then it won't happen. So I yeah. just think one of my, I think, you know, skills is, is rallying people mostly mm-hmm. money so it's a good skill <laughs> in a good yeah. skill and for good causes yeah, not yeah. for me <laughs> <laughs> but um i think it's good to just get other people committed and bring them in so what is like your first earliest like memory of terry fox um i was actually i think i was four four or five when i started running but i do remember in schools don't remember watching him on TV. I know a lot of people say we ran with him or we watched him in our city, but I didn't remember that. But I remember doing it in schools and just being in awe of, of what he did. And then later on in life, I've always continued. Actually, my first 10K, because I used to be a long-distance runner, and my first 10K was the Terry Fox race just mm. outside of headquarters in Toronto. That's cool. And that was hugely like emotional, just on so many levels. Um, and just knowing, having done marathons, like it's, to do a marathon a day for 143 days yeah. on one leg with cancer. Like the, the feat that he accomplished beyond just the physical feat, but then rallying all of Canada to fight the cancer is just something that everyone, I think, wants to get behind. Totally, yeah. What about you, Amy? Yeah, um, so I joined Nicole. She's very influential in my <laughs> life. And, uh, and I first joined really just to help her out. And then um, just through that and being involved with the organization and and kind of relearning the story of Terry Fox as an adult because I was a kid like a toddler when he did the run and I remember running through school and everything else but as an adult really understanding what his accomplishment was and the impact that it's had and in my own life the importance of continuing his legacy because you know we're at the we're at the age where we were kids when but now we're moving into people who weren't even alive at the same time as Terry Fox so so I think we both feel it's really 
really important that we share it with our children and um, get as many families involved and kids involved so that the legacy of Terry Fox continues. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, it's interesting because like I was trying to reflect on my own personal experience with it. And honestly, it wasn't until you guys reached out to us to like, you know, donate some money last year and like be supportive of the event that it really got me actually like diving more into the story because I was very, very young. What what year did he do it in? Yes, I wasn't alive. Okay. Um, <laughs> I was thinking, oh, I didn't think older. I was alive. It's funny because <laughs> yeah. I just read his book. I just read a book on him too, so oh, I should awesome. know that. But anyway, it really like being there last year really like revitalized like my passion for like looking into it and I have a bit of a close experience with cancer like I lost my mom when I was pretty young like 19 and um, that's obviously had a big influence on Mm -hmm. on my life and going to the event just really like reinvigorated like the importance of doing stuff like that and then like got me looking more like thinking back on Terry Fox and I had also like gotten a lot into running and like been running marathons and doing stuff on my own too so it was like this perfect like mixture of like um, everything that was like, oh, this is this is great, and then having been able to like interact with you guys and then continue to support the event has just like really motivated me more to like obviously help raise more money and like put on a good event, but also like learn more about his experience. I like kind of been on a little bit of a binge of like reading books mm-hmm. and like consuming content. I've done and, the binge. Yeah, <laughs> and, and um, you you don't realize. I don't think I never realized how much of an impact like he's had like to date now but even like not just in Canada but like worldwide I was reading about how many different countries in the world like there's Terry Fox runs like in China there's like a Terry Fox run. it's it's pretty wild to think one person could have such a massive influence on like still having a massive influence today it's pretty impressive the most amazing thing too is that we're one of the only runs where a hundred percent of the, the run organizers in each and every city I think we're in how many cities hundreds of cities across Canada we're all volunteers. There's not a dime spent on mm-hmm. anyone. And then we recruit probably 60 or 70 volunteers for that day. But that's one city in all the cities across Canada. So every other fundraiser that does do cancer research, it's great. They have you know an enrollment fee, and a lot of that money goes to cancer, and that's great. But we're the only ones who do it. It's all grassroots. It's yeah, all it's crazy. people who are just passionate about it. And I think, too, like it's so great to hear people are becoming more you know, ingrained it and passionate about it and bringing their families out. But what they don't know too is that even like I've done it many years and, and sometimes I'm like tired and I'm like, this is really hard. We're not there yet. Why don't we have a cure for cancer? This is crazy. And I've lost four friends under 40. And, um, but they announced this year, well, a couple of years they announced, but this year more so than ever that they've created these Marathon of Hope Cancer Centers. So I don't know if you've heard that, read that about that yet. They just had a post or an article in the Globe and Mail that was launched uh, early, mid-April. April April 12th was when he started in 1980. Um, And it was basically, this is the end of cancer as we know it, because Terry's dream was to end cancer, especially mm-hmm. for all the kids he saw in all the wards when he was 18. He just said this wasn't fair, all these kids who have cancer. And his whole thing was to bring awareness and money towards cancer research. And his dream was to end cancer. But these cancer or Marathon of Hope cancer centers, what they will do was bring all the research from anyone who has cancer, your age, your blood type, your treatment, everything, the type of cancer, and it will pull them all into one hub which doesn't exist right now, which is kind of scary. Mm. So it's really making the best care accessible to all Canadians because they'll go to this hub and see everything that you have, what is the best treatment, regardless of where you live, and they'll pull it all together. And then once they throw AI at it, they said it'll be all the research across Canada all together in one spot, and then AI will help us to really find the cure for cancer. Right. So they were saying it literally is the end of cancer wow. as we know it. It's crazy. So he literally, I truly believe, and that's why I think I'm even more passionate than ever, knowing that it will happen in our lifetime and it's probably not that far away. Yeah, that's cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's awesome and definitely like a motivating thing. Yeah. Hugely yeah. motivating uh-huh. to know that we are literally you know, at the precipice of like, this happening and all of our efforts for all these years and all the money that we've raised. Like last year we raised forty eight thousand dollars in our tiny little town. Yeah, it's crazy. Amazing. Yeah. And I think um, this is our twenty did I tell you this? This is our twenty fifth anniversary of the Dundas Terry Fox run this wow, year. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. It started yeah. in nineteen ninety nine with uh, Blake and Julie Hunter and then it was taken on by Julie um, sorry, the Becks, Jen and Doug Beck. Yeah. And then um, Kathy Magna and Julie Wilson, and then oh, 
Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. So it's 25 just gone. is it's really through cool. Many, many yeah. years, but to know now, it's like 25 years later, we're almost there. Wow. That's cool. I would love to hear, like, from you guys, what exactly is the Terry Fox event? Like, I think sometimes people might not even know what mm-hmm. goes on, what it is, um, how they can participate. Um, so I'd love to share a little bit more about what that, that day looks like. Okay. Um, so every run site is a little bit different. And one of the things that makes our Dundas site special is that we make it really family focused. And we have bouncy castles and carnival games and lots of activities for the kids. We also have a 1k fun run for kids, um, where they can run around the inside of the park and there's no cars around or anything. So it's nice and safe. And then um, five and 10k options for for the whole family as well. Um, so yeah, so that's kind of what makes our, our run special. Every run site is a little bit a little bit different, but the Terry Fox run, anybody can participate. You can walk, you can run, you can ride. Um, and it's not a race. It's just about being part of a community event and being part of something bigger. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And um, the kid fun run is awesome. Like, <laughs> I yeah. remember watching it last yeah, year. It's so, so, like, cute. it's so cool to watch the kids just, like, some kids just go for it. Yeah. Some other kids are just hanging out, yeah. just strolling around. It's really good. It's You can get the good family feel for it. Mm-hmm. And they do get some candy for extra motivation <laughs> to Nothing make like a around little candy. the park. I mean, you might need to give me some candy to motivate me yeah. to get to... It's all free. It's all donated. So. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, it's awesome. And I definitely could get that family feel feel when I was there um, mm-hmm. last year it's just like and, you, and there was just a very wide range of, of people which I think is really cool and obviously like the, the purpose of it and um, you know you don't need to go and race you know if you don't want to race you, you can go out and do it anyway which I think is also good I think sometimes there's this um, there's a bit of a fear around like the idea of a run um, that I get for, like I get why that's the case and I think there's like many of ways that you can accomplish like going 5k or 10k or whatever it is that you decide and I think it's mm-hmm. I don't one of the things with joining on and like, trying to encourage more people to do it is I don't want that to be the barrier for why like people don't participate in such an amazing event that has like more impact than just like you running a 5k or, or a 10k yeah. run you know exactly but I think like your movement with do more is that that was kind of what stimulated Terry. He's like, I have to do more. I have to, or I'll die trying. Like mm-hmm. He was like, I have to do more to help these kids. I have to do more to like, and he's just such an inspiration to do more. Mm-hmm. And you ever think you, you could or ever thought you could. Yeah. Especially for little kids, like the inspiration. I have three young kids and they just find Terry so inspirational. Like I was just that whole like keep going you know, try to help out, be your best. And he just exemplifies all of it. Yeah. And I think like one thing with that whole idea of like that campaign that we put on, it just really encompasses a lot of like things that I believe in and a lot of things that like the the movement stands for and what Terry said, stood for from like learning more about it is um, it's all relative, like doing more than you ever thought possible is relative to where you are. So like, mm-hmm. you know, I never thought I would be able to run a marathon and now I'm running marathons. You know what I mean? So like that's that for me, that's doing more than I ever thought possible. But for some people it could be, you know, walking one K or five K or whatever, or it could even be just like getting out and even going and fundraising. Like that could be doing more than you thought you possibly could. And, um, you know, it starts with like just leaning into that a little bit and it's, it's not comfortable a lot of times. And I think like that's how it's supposed to be, you know, Mm -hmm. it's supposed to be a little hard, supposed to be a little bit uncomfortable. I would imagine that's a a lot of what Terry felt when he was doing what he was doing, it was definitely not comfortable and not easy and mm-hmm. um, on probably many levels, right? Mm-hmm. And so like, exactly. if he wouldn't have leaned into doing that, think about the massive amount of impact that wouldn't have happened and you never really know what things can turn into and I think it's easy to be like, oh, I'm just one person, like I won't have an impact, but when one person you know, does something and then someone else sees that and does something, that's how you end up raising the amount of money you guys raise here or mm-hmm. the amount of money that Terry's raised throughout the whole Terry Fox Foundation. So I think it can really spark a lot of I good think, things. Uh, he too, he, like before his death, he um, raised on, I can't remember the exact date, but he raised one dollar for every Canadian. Mm-hmm. And that was his dream for cancer research. So mm-hmm. he did accomplish that. In like, his life, in his lifetime, in his right? Lifetime, yeah. Like before he passed away? Before he passed, yeah. he had actually already done that. Which is crazy. Which everyone yeah. said was unimaginable. Yeah. And then now since then, I think they've raised over, I, th- I know it's over a hundred billion. Uh, 
I feel like 93.4 million is stuck in my head, but I don't, Does it mean, I don't know. It's more than that. It's, it's hundreds, a lot of we'll call it, million. We'll call it way more than uh, wait, yeah. Yeah. anyone oh God, ever I'm thought. Totally just forgetting everyone it, you no, know what, okay. though, just a great example of what one person's life can, right. can do. And especially for the youth, like growing up, thinking like my life has no meaning or, you know, and when you look at him and like he was a kid and how much meaning his short life had, it, I think it's just such a great inspiration and example for for the youth to see and for all of us in in our lives like no matter where we are in life like yeah we can accomplish something we can inspire other people and yeah and it doesn't have to be you know it's it's amazing that it turned into what it was what right. what terry did but like it doesn't even have to be that like the amount of impact you can have just on your own family Absolutely. alone right by like going out and doing that like let's so say you do a 5k that you never thought you could and you did that and your kids watched you do yeah. that like that's a massive amount of impact that you could have on their lives which is totally. pretty cool right yeah absolutely yeah it could change the trajectory of their life it definitely seeing could. their parents yeah. push themselves physically and yeah yeah i think that that's awesome so a couple different things that you guys do you do the the 1k fun run you do you guys are having some games this time around yep some yeah that's new games. this year so we're gonna have more like uh kids activity and just family activities like cornhole and, and carnival games and and bouncy castle obstacles that the adults can go into yeah <laughs> and face painting <laughs> and face painting yeah we have a glitter <laughs> tattoo artist coming and a uh, magician yeah, yeah magician yeah. and uh balloons animal balloons yeah, yeah. So, so, so a lot of fun. Oh, and the kids. and the hot dog stand. Oh yes, hot oh, right. dog. Oh, they're yeah. coming. Yes. Oh Thanks nice. Yes, roots. Yeah. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. With discounted pricing for everyone, of course. That yeah. was her generous offer. Oh, that's so. great. Yeah. yeah, their stuff's good. We've had it here before. Um, no, it's cool. I w- I know like this year was a little bit different with like normally you have to fundraise a lot of money and you offer business like businesses to contribute to that this year was different and um, i can't remember exactly the reason why it was different but <laughs> i think it was a big deal for for you guys like what ended up happening and and it's going to be probably have a big impact on the terry fox going terry enormous, fox here enormous. going forward so yeah. i used to go to the hakers for catch the ace just with my sisters it was fun and you're supporting local catch the ace is a progressive fundraiser where you d- you give money you put the chance to win so it got up to over a million dollars in yeah. Hagersville. But I was speaking with someone in Dundas and said, we should do this. And he's like, well, I'm actually the fundraising coordinator of Dundas for the Legion. And I was like, well, we should do this. And then I asked Amy. She's like, yes. So we started doing it. So we we joined the Legion. We joined the Legion. <laughs> and we Gave up our Wednesday nights it, for yeah. six months. <laughs> <laughs> but we, uh, we created this uh, Catch the East fundraiser in Dundas. And the, the grand winner ended up winning a quarter of a million dollars. Wow. In Dundas, so over six months, we kind of did the fundraising with the Legion, yeah. and then um, the mm-hmm. Legion gifted us money to help fund the run, probably, you know, for the next for, money. Yeah, so, for, yeah, for a few years for, to come. Which, so is, we, which is great, because I know mm-hmm. a big challenge is that, um, and I know you guys already had some ideas and ways that you were going to utilize that. What are some of the things that you guys have done to, like, take advantage of having a little bit more funds? I know, like, there was some rebranding, that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. So we're working with um, a a really great graphic designer, Steph Hayes from uh, White Cactus, who's amazing. And she's done lots of graphics for us. So we're going to have a new 40-foot banner that goes across Dundas for two weeks leading up to the run. And that was actually the inspiration to get involved with with the fundraiser in the first Mm -hmm. place, because we wanted wanted to pay for this banner and um it cost money for the banner and for the rental so um we just wanted to raise enough money for the banner and we did that <laughs> so that that, was that'll be sweet <laughs> that'll be a big that's a big deal i feel like a it's lot a of people deal. will see there's probably a lot of people that don't know about the run that should know about it that yeah. will know now well we'll be uh, in the cactus parade with it too exactly. oh, we'll nice. be carrying the banner in the parade there you go so. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and then so yeah, so we're gonna have lots of new um, like signage and things like that, and then um, we got to invest more in kids' activities, and we're working with Adventure Mania, who um, they also have a personal connection to the Terry Fox Run, so they gave us a nice discount for our rental stuff this year. So we're really excited to see what they bring out for us, and um, I think that's gonna be lots of fun. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, what else are we investing in? I think at the end of the day, just more uh, marketing, more kind of getting people out there to kind of, because we're so close to that Marathon of Hope Cancer Center, just bringing it all together, just mm-hmm. educating everyone about that. 